All right, so we have another replay here. This is a community cast sent in to me by KLV, King Wu and Vuitton, playing the Greenskins. The save game file was called The Perfect Foot. So either KLV has a uh, foot fetish or we're going to see a big foot of Gork coming down from Orzag. I will let you be the judge. Uh, on the other side, oh, well, we have MR Defender playing uh, the uh, Warriors of Chaos. And then there's two Empire players. One's called Clay, the other's Lazy Titan. Uh, Hi guys, hope you're doing good. Uh, going over the army uh, deployments, we have uh, Sarthorial, and yeah, like I said, Wurzeg. Uh, we got Carl Franz up in the air. We've got a Arch Lecter and the Witch Hunter. Empire is very tight here. They only have three units of Cav. One is Empire Knights, then there's two units of Outriders. The Outriders are uh, chevroned up for reasons unbeknownst to me. Perhaps it was the end of the uh, army select and they just had some points left over and didn't know what to spend it on so they threw it on the outriders but in my opinion a waste of points uh because they're not really melee troops and so melee attack melee defense it's not really going to do much and the little like one damage buff to your missile damage is, is insignificant so but anyway probably just a casual match and like i said they probably didn't care so thoriel is gonna be leading the chaos boys over here going in like a boss the chaos troops are pretty tight and they will not give so much of a shit about this uh, Bright Wizard. Uh, I don't think there's much of an answer to the heavy armor of the uh, Chaos outside of the cannons, obviously, and the uh, free, well, uh, handgunners, not free company militia. But the handgunners are deployed at the same place as the uh, cannons, so that means if the uh, if they push into the cannons, these handgunners are going to have to fall back in, in these directions and then try and reverse the fire in on where the cannons are at. So uh, Marauder Horsemen are going to be uh, chipping down some of these flagellants, taking some of these breakable units off the field. Some Force Goblin Spider Riders are going to be annoying the piss out of these Outriders, denying them from the opportunity of doing anything useful. Rosag's chilling in the back. Doesn't look like the cannons have decided to target him. I think that would be a really, really nice target if the cannons did shoot at that. Uh, let's take a look and see what the cannons are shooting at. Maybe it's Sarthorial? Looks like it, because you can see the arrow on top of Sarthorial, but Sarthorial does have a lot of uh, magic missile damage resistance, so I don't think it's an optimal target. Uh, then again, he does have no way of healing, so damage does add up. Okay, Sarthorial is going to go right in, do his thing, diving the flagellants, eating their faces. There are some shots going in on him from the handgunners, but these uh, Mirror Guard and Chaos Warriors are going to be certainly in their element against uh, Flagellants and uh, other Empire State troops. Halberdiers do have armor pen. They're going to be able to cause some problems to Sarthorial. Oh, it looks like Acquisition has been dropped on Sarthorial. So, you know, we were talking about that missile resistance. Uh, well, the Empire is saying bye-bye to some of it, but he still probably has about 50% missile resistance. So I think maybe trying to snipe Warzag would be the better option if you can do it. Carl Franz is going in here, going to probably try and tear out these Orc boys. The Empire Knights do get in on him. Maybe he can get a quick charge in on Warzag before peeling out. It wouldn't surprise me if that's what he tries to do, but... Ooh, so I think this is a mistake here. He should definitely not be chasing Forest Goblin Spider Riders around the map. He might kill one or two of them. That is not a good usage of 2,000 gold. Carl Franz should... He has a duelist. He needs to go after heroes and uh, high-valued cavalry and things of that nature. Uh, Forest Goblin Spider Riders are not in that uh, conversation. So Wog gets popped. This is a good time for it. Maybe a, maybe a touch late, but not too bad. Uh, Chaos Trolls are inactive here. A huge uh, burning heads going down, but I think it's probably roasting more Empire troops than it is Chaos troops. These Chaos Marauders are going to waver. Okay, yeah, they're going to break off, but Damon's few are going hard. Uh, they do have armor, and they mostly don't give a shit. And it looks like the Burning Head is going to just miss the Chaos Trolls and these Chaos Marauders, so lucky break there for uh, MR Defender. So Ithuriel has slowly over time taken enough damage that it's going to be uh, necessary for him to pull back a little bit. What I would have liked to see is maybe the Skirmisher Archers to rotate around the back and start getting in some cycle charges, because like I said, there's no cavalry really on their in their army, aside from these Outriders and these Empire Knights. Those have been committed to the far flank, so that is a wide open opportunity here for MR Defender to be coming around the back. They're, I mean, this one unit of Spears should really not be an issue for them. 
But yeah, over here, Carl Franz has been taking a lot of damage. I apologize, I didn't catch what exactly did that to him. I'm guessing some combined uh, fire from these archers. And because the uh, Empire looks like they've opted not to take a Lore of Life caster, uh, the damage is added up and there's no way to heal him. So I think that's a very big mistake if you're going to go Empire. I know a lot of people have commented on that, but I think... Um, the message has not gotten through to a lot of the community. If you bring Carl Franz, you should almost certainly bring a Jade Wizard, especially if you have him on the big down like that. He's a huge target. You need him to be active throughout the match, and if you're afraid to commit him to a fight, then you're not getting value out of him. Balance Bar is still dead even. It looks like Chaos is, is getting absolutely wrecked, but oh, remember that uh, Cav uh, opportunity that I was talking about from Armour Defender? Well, it's, it's now. Uh, I think he was a little bit late in recognizing it, but oh, oh, he's just shooting. So this is where I, I think you really need to get them into melee mode, get the cycle charges. Even if they don't win, which they probably should as long as you're cycle charging, they're going to prevent them from shooting. And yeah, MR Defender, I do think he has the intention of getting in a cycle charge here. Maybe he's decided to ignore the handgunners and focus on the cannons instead. Uh, I think the, the handgunners probably have more damage uh, output if they're firing. But uh, obviously, you know, whenever you have the opportunity to take Empire Cannons offline, it's a nice opportunity. So Carl Franz has not noticed them. Okay, here he comes. He's going to try and get in on those Marauders, and that's going to be a problem for him. Over here, there's a lot of shooting going in, but they're shooting at uh, biggins and goblins and things like that. Not a big deal. Black Arcs are going to cleave through these great swords with not too much trouble. There are some units in reserve here. They're going to need to go in and commit to the fight. Goblin Big Boss is wavering. Wurzag has gotten in here right into the front line, being pretty brave, going after the Witch Hunter, probably trying to get his um, his Wog popping up again. And he's going to uh, do pretty good work against the Witch Hunter, I think, here. But he's decided not to stick to that engagement, perhaps because of the presence of the Flagellant. Maybe he's going in on this Arch Lecter. Uh, or just trying to keep the leadership of his troops here high, which were probably wavering, so not a bad choice. Over here, the Orc Boys, or Biggins, are going to continue to take Missile Fire... F uh, oh, sorry. The Summoners of Rage are going to take Missile Fire from these Outriders, but they're getting screened out by the Orc Boys, so nice stuff here. Looks like those Skirmisher skirmish Archers have been break broken off by Call Franz. I don't see them now, so maybe they broke right off the map. So Arthurio looks like he's died. I'm assuming he just got shot by the cannons. Uh, so tough tough for him. Uh, Arch Lecter, Shield of Faith, trying to anchor the midline just to disrupt things. Goblin Big Nut Boss has gotten onto the Witch Hunter, taking him out of the fight. So still too close to call. Could go a lot of ways, but Empire is running out of real estate on these great cannons, and it's also running out of flagellants. So without any more troops to anchor that front line, it's going to be really tough. At this point, because there's so few unit models left, I would think that maybe some of these units could split around the great swords and try and get in on uh, the cannons or just push past but yeah free company militia and this chaos marauders just going toe-to-toe -to -toe, both wavering both really really uh you know fighting to the death here and it looks like the uh chaos warriors are just able to break through and that is a huge huge development because that opens up a nice rear charge opportunity for these guys and uh just more pressure. I mean, when you're trying to get in on this pocket, you want to hit them from as many directions as possible. The good news is Wurzeg is still alive and healthy. Uh, I have not seen the foot of Gork go down yet. So if there is a foot of Gork in this map, maybe I'm, in this matchup, maybe I'm missing it. Uh, hope not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna recast this entire match. But balance bar is very even, and Empire. It looks like they're starting to turtle right here. So maybe, maybe that foot of Gork is coming. I'm gonna. Keep an eye out on some Foot of Gork action here. Uh, Carl Franz is over here in with the big ones. But yeah. All of the artillery is just about to come out. Here's a Vortex going down on some Outriders. They could probably just dodge this, but it looks like they're not paying attention. Not a good use of Winds of Magic in my opinion. Like it maybe did 50 gold worth of damage to one unit of Outriders who are low on ammo anyways. But... Oh, some spearmen? No, it didn't even break them. Like, just, that spell is always a waste to me, but I guess there were no other good targets to use it on. Carl Franz is going down. I don't know, man. I didn't I didn't see where the foot of Gork went down. I think this matchup is just about done. So, sorry to all you guys. Oh, there was a foot. There was a foot. Did you see it over here? He, he footed some handgunners. I don't know if that was the perfect foot that he was referring to. Maybe he was pretty excited about that. I thought his other foot was better, but yeah. Only 100 kills on that foot of Gork, so... Yeah, you gotta step up your game, uh, Wurzeg. Just kidding. 
Nicely played to KLV and MR. Hope you enjoyed the replay. Catch you around.